So, <clears throat> I got the car started, backed it out of the driveway, heard a pop and a fizzing, hissing noise. Yeah, it wasn't enjoying that sound. Pulled it back in. Uh, it seemed like I had a lot of power in like the eight feet I drove it. <laughs> but, but yeah, I had to figure out what that noise was. So, pop the hood, there's oil everywhere. And it turns out that my little power steering hose fix did not work. Like, at all. Blew that shit. So, I went to the hardware store. Got a couple of options here. Aside from that, I'm gonna have to replace the whole line. It just sucks that they just put it in like 30 bucks with the brand new fluid. Uh, so, that looks like it just popped out. Maybe I can, I got some uh, brass tubings. I'm gonna run over the lines and then some, uh, yeah. Actually, let me just show you. Went to my local hardware store. Yeah, so I got these fittings to go, the hose will go through here. These guys, I figure I bend down, bend these guys down, do a little wherever they're appropriately. So run the hose through there. And uh, a couple of these guys clamp together. If that doesn't work, then I also got some hard line connectors, but that's gonna be even, I don't know, once I get that thing off there, I might take a peek at it and see if I can't pull the hose closer together and use these. I'm not sure which one of these ones I wanna use yet. These I don't really have any other use for, but I might farther on down the line, so I might hold on to them. There's five bucks for the both of them, quarter inch and three eighths. I wasn't sure what to get, so I just got both. That and the hardware guy was staring at me, because, I don't know, I always wear all black and I don't look like I am belong in a hardware store. So, yeah. So I got two options, well, three options, rather, to fix that hose. So that's what I'm kind of working on. I didn't want to, but I had to take off my throttle body. I was really hoping not to do that, but I needed to because there was a secondary problem. As soon as I realized that that was going, I looked over here and saw that the heater hose coming from the firewall was shooting out. Uh, it was shooting coolant all over my sensor here. So I immediately released pressure. That caused it to stop, but this is torn. Um, this guy plus metal, plus rubber, plus 20 years, 20 some years, equals small tear. So I'm gonna be replacing that. <sighs> I haven't figured out if I'm gonna drain the coolant yet or just try and go for it. I think I'm gonna try and go for it. But um, other than that, yeah, I'm just gonna have to re-clean it up, do that. I have a ball joint issue. My castle nut won't go on because I mushroomed the tip getting it off last time. So I'm gonna have to Saws all that off. Not saws all, but angle grind it off of there. But other than that, yeah, she's running, purring. <laughs> it sucks. A couple of little setbacks. Nothing biggie. I got a couple hours where I got to work today. I'm going to see what I can get started, but then I got the next two off, so I should be out and running within the next couple of days here. Then I can start doing other things like painting the trim, putting out the steering wheel, fixing the headlights. Changing out the mirrors, tinting the windows. Um, like I said, painting the trim. All this, I'm gonna sand it all down, get rid of the uh, silver, go to black, matte black on those, put my uh, wind visors on there. New mirrors, a bunch of stuff. I wanna start dyeing the interior of the car because it's faded. So I wanna re dye it back to maroon, maybe get some vinyl paint, some vinyl fabric paint. Seen it work wonders in other cars, but not quite the same color. So, all right, until I get something fixed. Progress. Put that copper piece in there, a couple hose clamps, piece of new fuel line. We'll see, huh? We'll see. Um, coolant line. I just, I was gonna swap it out. I actually got a whole nother piece. That was a little small. And I kind of want to get this done, so what I did was um, pulled it forward. It had a bit of an S curve to it, so I just pulled it forward, and seems to be a good enough amount. We'll see if it holds. If it doesn't, 
You go to O'Reilly's, O'Reilly's, or any auto parts store really, and just get another uh, piece of heater hose. Five eighths is too small, so whatever size up from that will be that. We yeah, have power steering, heater hose, apparently good to go. Now I have to get to this guy. Which, as you can see, she don't like me much. Yeah, a lot of crap on there. So what I'm gonna do is angle grind off the nut, which won't go up or down anymore. So yeah, gonna have to just gonna cut it right across. See if I can get another nut on there. If not, I'm gonna have to pull the whole knuckle. It's gonna suck, and then replace the ball joint, which is brand new. <sighs> So I've had to take it out, had to take this thing out like 15 times and just mushroom the threading on it. So yeah, that's where I'm at. About to angle grind that sucker off, see how that works. If it doesn't work, then I'm uh, new ball joint town. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Finishing up the update. Uh, power steering hose fix number two did not work. That didn't work either. So now I'm gonna have to figure something else out. I will get it. I will get it. I know I will. Um, tachometer wasn't working, so I had to run another wire. Obviously, the blue one goes into the tack on the inside down in there. Uh, I'm gonna fig finish that off. Whew, not right now. I'm kind of just taking a break from wiring. I know it's just kind of sitting there, but fuck it. Um, ball joint. I just got done. Got home. It took me 48 minutes, I think it was, to. Um, Completely swap it out. I uh, busted it out, bust down the knuckles, took all everything out, took the whole knuckle off, got everything off of it, uh, except for the hub and the bearing, and pounded that shit out, put it right back in. There's a remnant. It's, uh, yeah, anyways, we're 48 minutes from start to finish, from pulling into my driveway. To putting the tire back on it was 48 minutes to change out a ball bearing or a ball joint. Unheard of, I tell you, unheard of. But yeah, other than that, um, alternator wasn't charging the battery. It's been raining pretty bad the last couple days, so I haven't bothered to uh, um, do any kind of updates because it's just been raining and dark, and shitty. But I thought maybe it's a grounding problem. Checked all my grounds, it was fine. Um, Turns out I didn't run a wire. So now I have two wires, one going back. One's for the alternator, one's for the tachometer. The speedometer wasn't working either. Went down in there, uh, got that all nestled in. So now I have speedometer, tachometer. Um, getting a lot of water in the car still. So my one fix didn't work. So I went to the store and got some uh, heavy duty industrial Super, super crazy glue. Put that on there. Uh, let it dry, and then I put clear caulking all over it. Um, did the same thing under here. I thought maybe it was trailing in, so I pulled this whole black piece up. One big piece of plastic slash rubber. Um, put clear caulking all the way in here. Uh, you can kind of see a little bit of it there. Uh, went across again with the other stuff. Both sides got caulked on it. Uh, the trunk was flooding still, so I went ahead, put clear caulking all the way around the entire edge, just because, I'm tired of dealing with it, so I said screw it. I even put a little bit more on here, just to clear stuff. Um, just now got done spraying rubberized coating, it's supposed to be black, damn it that doesn't look brown to me. What do you think, brown? I got these uh, moisture bags. I got one in the trunk, and there are four in here. They are working. I'm sure you can see that right there is a bunch of water. Um, there's some more in that one. They are working pretty good, sucking up a little bit of water already. I've only had them in here for a couple hours. So that's nice to know. Um, I think there was something on my windshield, that's why the back ones. I went ahead and uh, carb 
carb clean, got all the oil and grease off it, and then rain axed the front and the back. I didn't bother doing the sides. But I still feel like there's something on there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like bubbly and weird. I don't know. So, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. It's running, it's going, it drives. Drove it to work, drove it around town a couple times. I'm um, just kind of giving it, giving her what she needs. One thing at a time, I got another 20 things on the list. Like move the battery in the back, cold air intake in here. Um, God, the list goes on and on. Uh, EVAP canister delete, map, old map sensor delete. Get rid of all that stuff. Uh, once I get her up and going pretty good, I'm going to run some uh, seafoam green through there. Then I take care of a bunch of stuff. Uh, the fans. I still need to wire this one to that one. I might do that right now. Like I said, I'm kind of taking a break from wiring. But, uh, because they had, the old one was, this is a new radiator. Uh, I'm sure you can tell. But I have two fans in here. This car does not have AC. I don't care. I didn't really want AC anyways. Um... Don't use it, pain in the butt. If I really wanted it, I could take it off of this guy, but don't want it. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna wire this, this one to that one. So I'll have, they'll both turn on. Right now it turns on fine, which is great. Uh, means my Mizumoto, 85 degrees Celsius. Uh, coolant temp switch works. Means the wiring's good for it, I'm glad. I think it was overheating a bit. My hose fix did work. That works pretty well. Um, I don't think I have any kind of oil leak. Looks like I'm pretty much dead on in the oil department. Um, yeah, coolant seems to be working good. Power steering, I'm not even gonna talk about. <laughs> it's too, just too much, man, it's just too much. Um, seat belts, I found out today on accident I was wondering what these were, and I found out today on accident reading something else that these are actually both for the seatbelts, passenger side and driver's side. So in case you're wondering what the hell those are, so I'm probably just going to be getting rid of those too. I don't know why I would keep them, I don't feel like running wires up to the front. What I want to do is do a delete, I'm not sure how to do it, because the moldings are completely different. As you can see, this one has the track that runs along the line. It does not have the attachment, nor does the base. Down there, it has like that slot for where you pull the buckle in across your lap. Such a stupid design, I don't get it. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to swap that out for the original one. Ooh, I don't think I can get in that door. For the original one in here, see it because of how dark it is but boom I'm thinking I might have to redo transfer out the entire thing because on the other one if you rewind the video a little bit you'll see how this one actually goes past it and kind of swoops down into it uh, it's going to take some research on my part to figure out if I can even if that's even possible I don't know I'm assuming because these ones have to attach down there I've never tried switching that out or switch these ones out before because this is the driver's seat. You can see it's pretty tore up. That used to be the driver's seat, and I switched sides um, because obviously because it's a nicer, nicer seat or whatever. But we have to figure out if I can do that. Even uh, a couple places I looked online, they're talking about it and they talk about it and talk about it on the forums on Honda Tech and stuff, but they never actually say whether or not anybody's ever done it. They never get to the end of the thread or people who ask questions about it never repost. Which is always fun. I love that shit. It's like, thanks for getting a bunch of help and then not telling us what you did. So, that's pretty much where I'm at. Uh, my next step is to uh, pull out the wire harness, finish doing some soldering stuff, get that all cleaned up. Because as is right now, It's still pretty, still pretty messy in here. I actually got a nice day today. So, well, there you go, you can see how that swoops down right there. 
I don't think that's going to match up. It might be SOL on that. Oh well, figure it out. I'll figure it out. Figure something out. But I think I'm going to ditch this steering wheel. Maybe like right now. I got to figure out this guy. The, the, I mean, I just popped this thing out the other day. I wasn't even trying. I just came right out. Yeah. They're all plugged in. This middle one wasn't plugged in. I was hoping that had something to do, but this doesn't stay in. See, the cruise control stays in. And this is for the rear defogger. But it doesn't stay in. It doesn't light up. So I'm gonna tear that apart, see what's going on in there. I'll figure that out pretty easy. But, whew. Yeah, I gotta pull that harness back out. Make it look all purdy. Yep, yeah, that's where I'm at. Mm, Alright, till next one. I'm freaking.